And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Antitonitris, which was a request from Dinosaur4602 via YouTube, so thanks. It was a sauropodiform that lived in the Triassic-Jurassic boundary in what is now South Africa in the Elliott Formation. And it was named in 2003 by Adam Yates and also in the paper was co-authored by James Kitching. The type species and only species is Antitonitris ingenipes. The name Antitonitris means before the thunder and it refers to the fact that this dinosaur existed before Brontosaurus. And other known sauropods, but mostly brontosaurus. Because that one's thunder lizard. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And the species name means massive foot. (laughs) Interesting name. Yeah. The fossils were found in 1981 by James Kitching, and they were stored at the Bernard Price Institute for Paleontological Research in the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg. These fossils were originally labeled as Euskelosaurus until Yates suggested that they were a separate taxon. The holotype consists of vertebrae and bones from the forelimb and hindlimb. There's five limb bones from a smaller specimen that were also referred to antitonitris. The holotype was about 26 to 33 feet or 8 to 10 meters long, but the neural arches of the vertebrae were not fused with the centra, so it might not have been fully grown. It had a long neck, the skull's not known, and scientists think it was a mostly quadrupedal herbivore, but had primitive adaptations to use forelimbs for grasping in addition to supporting its weight and its forelimbs were longer than its hind limbs. The first digit of its hand, the thumb, or polex, was still flexible and capable of grasping. Later sauropods had large, thick wrist bones, and their hands were locked in a way to support their weight full-time. Antitonitris did have broader, thicker wrist bones, though, so that shows an adaptation. The feet were also showing the beginning of developing to support great weight. Also, the first toe on its foot had a claw, though it wasn't shaped exactly like later sauropods. So, Antitonitris could be a translational link between bipedal sauropodomorphs and quadrupedal sauropods. It's not necessarily a direct ancestor to sauropods, however. Scientists have classified it as a sauropodiform, which is an animal that has features related to the origin of sauropods. It closely resembles Blecanosaurus and Lesimsaurus, but both of these are poorly known. 